I'm Kim. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I really appreciate it. So for today's painting, I'm going to try an open cup. Um, I don't think I've ever done one before. And I always like the way they look for other people. So I figured I'd give it a try. Um, I'm going to use some blue, um, I think some coral, some white. I don't have any metallics in this time. So um, which I usually like to use metallics, but just thought I'd give this one a go and see how it turns out. So let's get to it. All right, this is Artist Loft White. And then I'm gonna use Cadmium Orange mixed with this Pearlescence White to kind of give a lighter, lighter orange, more corally color. This is cadmium yellow. Then I have this uh, light blue by Artist Loft. And the last color is gonna be phthalo blue. And then I'm going to use, these are my cups. Um, so these are little condiment cups that I got at the dollar store and I just cut the bottom off once. So that's going to be my open cup. All of the paints are mixed one part paint to two parts Floetrol. Um, maybe a little bit of water in there in a couple of them to just thin them out. So I'm going to go ahead, flood the canvas, and then uh, start pouring, and I'll be back with you guys. Alright, the canvas is flooded and I've got my open cup here in the middle. I'm going to start pouring. Um, I'm going to do this coral orange first. And then I'm going to add in white kind of in the layers to keep the colors from getting muddy. Of course the blues and the yellow can go together, that's not a problem. but. Um, Orange and blue and orange and yellow can get muddy really quick. And you know, ultimately, the cup should kind of start moving around on its own. Um, so I don't, we'll see if that's going to happen here. I'm a little worried that my, my white paint might be a little too thick for that, but I don't know. We'll see.
Okay guys, so I've kind of moved the couple around a little bit on my own. Um, just kind of twisting it and twirling it. And now I'm just going to pull this out. It's kind of strange. All the colors have sort of gone under the white a little bit. Except for this last bit of blue that I just did. It's kind of just staying there. I'm not sure why. But I'm, I'm going to tilt this and I'm interested in, to see how these colors do once once I start tilting them to see if they brighten up a little bit. I've got some stuff in the paint. So my husband is mowing the lawn as I'm painting and lawn clippings are flying back into the garage and into my paint as I'm painting. <laughs> he came and um, shook out the bag on the vacuum and or on the lawnmower and stuff went everywhere. So I'm trying to get rid of this big glob of blue in the middle and so I'm using my skewer to try and break it up a little bit and then I'm going to tilt some more and hopefully get get that to, to break and not be so, um, so blue. <laughs> I think that's really what I'm looking for.
All right, well, I kind of like this. I'm anxious for it to dry so I can see if, if the colors change at all as it dries. And I'll be back and show you the wet version and the dry version of this up close. Alright guys, I am back. This painting is done. Let me get it for you. So, I liked it when I first did it, but as it dried, I don't, I don't care for it. And also, um, it's like a spot where some paint actually went through the canvas, even though there's no hole or cut there. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, I don't care for the way it dried. It, the colors just got really muted as it dried. So it's not my favorite. Um, so I'll probably just let this one, I'll let it cure and then I'll just, I'll paint over this one again. Um, yeah, it's just not doing it for me. I think I shouldn't have used such a big amount of the blue at the end because it didn't really blend in very well. I'm not sure why, but anyways, we tried it. I'll try it again, different colors maybe, and see what we get. But I hope you liked the video. Um, you know, click the like, the subscribe, Leave me a comment and keep coming back. Thanks, guys.